finally the time has come and we are racing again on track with everything that goes with it engine sounds spectacular cars nail biting action but something will be missing and that is you the fans here at bmw we are united in our passion for racing our bonds are stronger than ever nothing can break us and it doesn't matter if we have to keep our distance, we are committed to getting you right into the middle of the action at the racetracks with this innovative digital access. Live broadcast all the way through our weekends with regular updates from our drivers and hosted by yours truly, Ben Costanjuris. You will always be at our side and part of this fascinating world of BMW Motorsport. We stay hashtag united in racing. And today we have our three drivers from the DTM Championship, Philippe Eng, Jonathan Urbedin, and Lucas Auer, in various states of preparedness for this weekend's DTM. Starting with you, Jonathan, you're at the track already. Yeah, indeed, Ben. Um, I'm at the track here on the Camel Strait, I'm just doing the track walk and just getting prepared for the season. Uh, sunny weather here, which is nice, and uh, obviously looking forward to the weekend. For Lucas and John, uh, Lucas and Phil, though, you guys still in your cars? Who's closer to Spa, Lucas? I think you are, aren't you? Yes, yes, I think I'm closer. I had Philip is somewhere around Munich. I think I have 140 kilometers to Spa. Just parked next to a highway, so I think I make it first. <laughs> It's a bit different, isn't it? It's like going back to the 1960s, having to drive to all the racetracks rather than reliant upon flights, Phil. Yeah, but uh, yes, I like yes, it definitely. and uh, we are in a very... Go on, Philip. Yeah, uh, yeah, we are in a very privileged situation that BMW provides us with very nice uh, road cars, so I don't mind uh, driving by myself uh, to the races. Um, obviously, yeah, outstanding times and outstanding ways of, of traveling to the tracks. But um, yeah, if Lucas is ahead, I accept it. He can have that one. Uh, and I hope to be uh, in front of him on track. So you guys have yet to get to Spa. How exciting about DTM getting back to a legendary circuit like Spa Francorchamps for the first time since 2005, Philip. You must be looking forward to it. Yeah, I mean, Spa is a dream circuit. Um, I think if you ask any race driver, he would tell you exactly the same. I have very good memories um, also together with BMW at that certain track uh, with the two 24-hour wins at Spa in the M6 GT3. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to be driving the DTM beasts of the 2020 season, um, two-liter four-cylinder turbo engines. Uh, so we will go around very quickly um, especially in the high-speed corners, um, the DTM car has a lot of downforce and um, yeah, I'm just looking very much forward to finally be back on track if I make it, uh, fingers crossed. And I can't wait to jump in the car for FP on uh, Saturday morning. Uh, for your two other teammates though, for Lucas and Jonathan, the first time with the DTM uh, team of BMW having jumped ship from other manufacturers, uh, proudly wearing their BMW shirts, Lucas, looking forward to representing this brand. Yes, yes, definitely. As Philip said, Spa is legendary. Um, I'm very proud to be part of the BMW family. I feel, I feel very welcome and really looking forward to get things started and and i believe this weekend will be an absolute highlight uh, those cars as philip already mentioned we have massively high top speed we have downforce uh, you know so those two races will be will be hardcore because you can also you can overtake here so well so i guess if you are in the top 10 i think you have a chance as long as you have the speed and standing on the famous Kemmel Strait, Jonathan, your uh, heart rate must have increased a little bit. You've only been in uh, single-seater racing or, or car racing for, what is it, this is your fifth year now, I think. Uh, so much less experience for your teammates here. Uh, a year already in DTM uh, last year, but to race at Spa in a car like that. Yeah, I mean, as uh, Philip and Lucas says, it's just uh, incredible, an incredible track, incredible car. 
Yes, true. Um, maybe a bit less uh, experience uh, here than um, uh, Philip and Lucas, but uh, yeah, still looking for a good result. And we're finally going real world racing. It must have been a real long time since you were last in a competitive real world race. A memory from a long time back, Jonathan. Yeah, indeed. I think uh, my last race was um, uh, DTM Hockenheim last year. So I think that's uh, eight or nine months ago. So it's been uh, a while. And uh, Lucas, so what kind of preparation have you guys been able to do? Much seat time at all? Well, to be honest, I had two days in the DTM car at the official Nürburgring test. Next to that, I had a FE test. I was on the Notch Live for a race simulator work. And of course, I, I prepared myself as good as possible with the team. And and that we, I think the most important for me is if you are new in a team, that, that you get to know your people as quickly as possible, that you get a, 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 like a family and everybody knows what you need, what you want, and feels happy. So this was this was the preparation. And do you feel like you've got into, uh, you've done as much as you can to get ingrained in that team as quickly as possible? Yes, yes, I feel very Yeah, I mean, I've ready. been... Uh, I've, uh, no, sorry, no, Lucas, Philip, carry on. Was you, this huh? question to me? <laughs> oh, sorry. You've been there a long time, Philip, so uh, to, uh, speak to Lucas. <laughs> yeah. No. No, uh, I feel I feel very ready. Uh, I have a super team. I have a super team around me, and I feel I feel ready and really looking forward. Uh, so, Philip, yes, you're um, you're a bit uh, better known in the BMW fold with b being there for a few years now in the DTM, and you've had lots of preparation virtually. You've been sim racing a lot. Yeah, I was uh, massively involved in in sim racing, and I really really enjoyed it because I think um, it was not only a good way to overcome the lockdown or to, to, to spend the lockdown, but also it, uh, I'm very convinced that it makes me a better driver. I was um, very privileged um, to have raced for a very good sim racing team and I still am for BS Plus competition um, with um, four professional sim racers. They are one of the best um, of, the, of the world. I obviously learned a lot from them um, when it comes down to sim racing, but um, even more so, I'm sure I've learned a lot um, also from my real racing, which uh, makes me a better driver. We also had some success. Um, we did the 24 hours of the Nordschleife and uh, won it in top split on iRacing, which was, I think, a massive achievement because we were the only pro M car with um, yeah, me being the M in, in that respect. But it was uh, super cool um, and yeah, obviously having done a lot of sim work um, with BMW to prepare as, as best as possible for the upcoming DTM weekend. I must point out that whilst uh, it looks very, you're doing a very good of making it look like you're actually moving with your realistic uh, movements, your camera, but actually you are stationary and it's trucks that are going past your window. Yes. Uh, just in case anybody thinks that Phil Philip's driving at the same time as doing this. He's not. It's just people are around. No, I'm not. <laughs> no hand. <laughs> yeah, I'm there is a there. I'm on a parking uh, parking spot at the moment and um, the trucks are passing uh, right. So, yes, I am stationary. Um, I have two uh, two hands or one hand on the phone, the other one on my knee. So uh, all good. <laughs> so what's the the feelings and the thoughts uh, from the BMW team, Philip, uh, regarding this weekend at Spa? Do you have any idea where your competitors are at? Well, to be honest, I think it's extremely difficult to judge because um, in the tests, nobody really shows their cards. Um, I think it was just important to, to do our homework, um, to prepare as best as possible, not only for Nürburgring, but um, for the remainder of the season as well. So to cover as many tracks as possible. And I think we achieved that. Um, but um, ask me again after Q1 at Spa and, and I can tell you if we are competitive, yes or no. But knowing BMW and um, being involved in the DTM program and also in various other programs, I know how hard everybody was pushing how positive everybody is and I, I really hope that we will have a successful um, first DTM weekend as a BMW group. And Lucas, 
obviously you have uh, lots of knowledge uh, of a previous mark that you drove for is there a different feeling in the way that the different cars drive and react well i only had a two-day test now um but there's definitely difference there are similarities and but also you know the things have changed since my last ttm race is now nearly two years ago engine has yeah, changed cool. and so on so I, I think it's difficult to 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 compare, but uh, in terms of working, both highly professional. And as I mentioned already, I I believe I have a I have a mega group around me, and and I feel I feel really really ready. And Jonathan, as you are the man on the ground there, how is Spa feeling and looking? Are we in for a beautiful sunny weekend the whole time, or is it going to be classic Spa conditions? I mean, at the moment, it looks quite sunny. Um, you never know with uh, with this uh, type of area. I think it's quite similar to the Nürburgring. You can be faced with uh, several seasons on uh, one day, so yeah. we'll have to see. But um, in terms of the feeling, I feel it's uh, quite electric. Um, everyone is excited to get going. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see. Well, I'm massively jealous of all of you. As you can see just behind me, behind my head on that side, is my favorite three race tracks and in the middle is spa francorchamps so very very jealous that you guys are able to take dtm cars around that track can't wait to see what they look like going through radion what they feel like for you guys will just be insane uh, and really really good luck to all of you whether it be experienced competitor philippe Eng or, or newbies to bmw uh, i hope you all have a wicked weekend enjoyable and successful and we will be here hashtag united in racing uh, across the whole weekend to talking to the winners and losers uh, from BMW uh, and making sure you get as much access to our drivers and mechanics and team principals as you could do, if not more, in fact, than in the real world if you were able to go to the races. So thank you to our guests this evening, Philip, Jonathan and Lucas. Good luck to you, boys. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. And we'll see you tomorrow for more news from BMW Motorsport. Hashtag United in Racing.